fight Time to see what life takes me So I roll the dice Look up to no one else But yeah, I was shy I got real power Hebrew is a lie As swift as the eagle flyeth Right? A nation whose tongue Thou shalt not understand A nation whose tongue Thou shalt not understand Because remember, like I said Do we speak Spanish? We did? Did we speak Spanish before Christopher Columbus came? I'm not sure. We didn't. They actually taught us Spanish. That's why your mom speaks Spanish because the so-called white man beat it into your grandfather. Beat it into your grandmother. That's the only reason you guys are speaking Spanish. <laughs> He's confounded, you don't know that. Right? In 1492, you had the Conquistador Conquest. The conquistador Spaniards came over here and enslaved the so-called uh, Native Americans and the so-called Hispanics, right? Now we, before we were taught uh, Spanish and English, we were actually speaking the Hebrew, right? We were speaking the Paleo-Hebrew, right? We had a different name before we were called Mexicans, right? Again, the so-called white man gave us that name. Keep reading on this, actually. We were pulling something up. First 50. Uh, a nation of fierce countenance which shall not regard the person of the old nor shoot favor to the young. What's going on, man? You guys got somewhere to be? Yeah, You guys going to a party or something? What's going on? We, we gotta go. We're not from here. Yeah, we gotta go. Oh, you guys are, are from out of state? Yeah, we're from out of state. It's about to rain. It's about All right, we're gonna get you one last verse. Matthew 19 and 16. Definitely. Matthew 19 and 16. We're gonna get you one last Matthew verse. chapter 19, verse 16. Bring it out. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Right. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. Right. So he came to Jesus. This man came to Jesus. He asked him, what do I got to do to rule the world to get everlasting life? To have the kingdom, right? To have my people prosper. Not just you, but your people as well. You know? There is none good but one. Right. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. That is your purpose on the earth as a man. As a real man of God, you're required to keep the commandments. That's how you're supposed to live your life, right? Now, in order to keep the commandments, you have to learn the commandments. So when you guys leave, we're gonna give you the flyer with the information. Brother, grab the flyer real quick. Right, you got the flyer? So look into the flyer, look into the information. You're gonna come to find out that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're the Israelites according to the Bible. We're God's chosen people. That's right. We, all the things that we go through, all the punishments that we receive in life, it's because we don't obey God's commandments. Right. Right? So we have to start being obedient to his commandments. We have to start keeping his law. Right? So you guys are going to find out more on the flyer, right? Yeah, I will. I'm for sure shit about this. Now you guys are what according to the Bible? What's your name? So that's what I. Israelite. Israelite. You have to remember that. Don't say Mexican. Don't say Hispanic. Don't say Latino. You have to say Israelite. That's what the world doesn't want you to say. Right? Yeah, right, you got it, brother. Give me the book of Second Ezra. Give me the book of Second Ezra, chapter 10, and verse 22. And go back to the book of Philippians, chapter 4. Yeah, 4 and verse number 10. All right, Bible good show. All right? But like I was saying, man, hey, you don't got to scream in everybody's face for them to get this word. You know what I'm saying? Whether they hear or whether they forbear, we're going to bring it out regardless. We're going to bring out the judgments regardless. We're going to bring out the prophecies. Hey, brother with the blue book bag. Hey, come back and hear one verse real quick. One verse. Right? Hey, all praises. This is for the Most High God. Give me the book of Psalms, chapter 127, and verse number 3. Psalms 127, verse 3. How you doing, sister? Right? And give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, and verse number 6. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 127, verse 3. Lo! children are an inheritance of the lord so the lord said that children they're an inheritance from god that's like a gift from god you having a daughter you having a son you having a child are you being able to take care of one that's a gift from god we don't and the fruit of the womb is his reward right as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man as what as, as arrows, arrows are in the hand, hand of a mighty man, man. as arrows so that's like you, uh, modern day, what's a modern day arrow, like a gun, right? That's like you being strapped, you know? So are children of the youth. 
hey, having a child, that's like having a strap on you. That's like, that could be a, a present from the Lord. Because your child, they may grow up and they, and they may be taking care of you one day. You may need them one day. You said what? Second line of defense. That's like a second line of defense, right? But in order for them to be a second line of defense, you have to do this. Read this. Ah, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 6. Read it out. And it reads, And these words which I command thee this day right. shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. And thou shalt what? And, and thou, thou shalt, shalt teach them diligently, diligently unto, unto thy, thy children. children. Right. All the laws, statutes, and commandments on how to serve the Most High God according to His will, right? You have to teach that to your kids, right? And that's going to teach them to honor you at that, right? Specifically, we don't and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. Right. You're going to talk about these laws. You're going to talk about the words of the Lord, and even when you're in your crib, even when you're sitting down in your house, you know? And when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Right. So no matter what, everywhere you are with your children, you're always telling them about the most high. You're always telling them about the grace and mercy of the Lord. You're always telling them how much God loves them. You're always telling them how to move in the spirit and how to flee from sin and wickedness that's in the world that's going to try to trap her and take her back in, right? And destroy her and kill her out here, right? It's a lot of things going on. One day she's going to grow up, right? And that goes if you have a little sister, you got a little brother, you got to look out for them and teach them the ways of God. We don't. Finishing out. Verse 8, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. Right. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house and on thy gates. Right. And these commandments, you got to live by them. Right. These commandments teach God's chosen people how to live and be holy as a nation. This teaches you how to rule the world. Right. Now, let's say, uh, why, why do you think, what's your nationality? Black. A black, black man. Now, that, uh, do you know the nation that you come from? Right? That's what we out here teaching, brother. You're, you heard of the Israelites before? Right? What do you know about the Israelites? You don't know anything? Do you know that they're God's chosen people? Right? We're going to show you two scriptures real quick. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and read verse 45. We're going to show you something about the Israelites because the reason... Hey, listen to this one verse. One last verse, please. Right? Bring this out. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 45. Bring it out. Moreover, all these curses, all these, what? All all these, these curses. curses. Right, you may wonder, why did so, the so-called black people go into slavery? Why did they? Uh, why are they at the bottom of society? Why do they go through all the oppression and atrocities they go through? You know? Moreover, all these curses right. shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments. What? To keep, keep his, his commandments. commandments. Right. We go through curses because we don't keep God's commandments. We go through oppression because we don't keep God's commandments. We don't. And his statues which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Brother, these curses are upon our people forever because we don't listen to God. You got a flyer, King? Come take a flyer real quick. Hey, let him take a flyer real quick. Hey, brother. Brother, he got you right here. Brother, turn around. Keep your head up, King. Give me the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, and verse number 3. Right? Hey, brother, you God's chosen people, right? You're a king on this earth. You're a Hebrew Israelite. Right. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31. And give me the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 9, and verse number 1. Right? Bring this out. Verse 1. God, this is the book of Proverbs 31, verse 3. Bring it out. Give not thy strength unto woman. Do what? Give, give not, not thy strength unto, unto woman. woman. Read it again. Give, give not, not thy strength unto woman. unto woman. Give not thy strength unto women. Right? Hey, a lot of brothers, they're going to let their woman pull them away from the words of the Lord. Right. Hey, uh, uh, I seen that on a breakdown, a brother was saying that some men, they're presented with ultimatums by the woman. Yeah. It's either that Bible or it's me. Right. Right? It's, hey, you're going you're gonna to keep going out with those guys wearing those fringes or are you going to be with me? Right? Yeah. Hey, give me the book of Matthew chapter 12. Right? Matthew chapter 12 and start at verse, I think in one verse. Yeah, we started verse 49. I think I want think verse, uh, start at verse 46, right? It's the book of Matthew, chapter 12, and verse 46. 
while he yet talked to the people, behold his body. What y'all doing? You got time to hear one Bible verse? One Bible verse for God, right? Y'all believe in the Bible, right? Now, do y'all go to church at all? Often. All right, what about, well, what type of church do you go to? Uh, New Hope. You said what? New Hope. New Hope. Is that like a Christian church? New Hope. Is it, huh? New Hope. Is that a Christian church? Do you know what religion it is? You just go there? Do you go every Sunday? No. Okay, okay. What have they taught you when you went to the church? This goes for all of y'all, though. Right, because I know you went to church before. I know you definitely went to church before, so. Yeah, what have they taught you in church? To, to believe in God. To believe in God? Okay, what else? Have they ever told you that you're an Israelite? That you're a princess? How come the church isn't telling this so, what's your nationality for all of you? What's your nationality? Do y'all know? Give me the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out, bring it out. Right. And give me the book of 2nd Ezra 10 and 22. Bring that out, Isaiah 1 and 3. This book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse number 3. Bring it out. It reads, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's okay, crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Right. My people doth not consider. Right, read on. God, our sinful nation, a people laden with the nigger. Read that again from the top, verse 3. So God. Okay. But Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. No. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. Right. So an ox and an ass, which is a donkey, they know how to go home. They know how to find their master. They know how to find their way back if they get lost. You know? But Israel doth not know. But who? But, but Israel, Israel doth, doth not know. know. What about the black woman? But, but Israel, Israel doth, doth not know. know. A lot of people don't know that the so-called black woman on the earth is an Israelite according to the Bible. Have you ever heard of the Israelites before? Right? A lot of people don't know that. The so-called black woman is a princess, an Israelite according to the Bible. Right. Right? You are part of God's chosen people. Why do you think that every woman on the earth tries to image their beauty after your beauty? They want to be just like you. They want to yeah. dress like you. They want to have the same body as you. They want to have the same hair as you. They want to have your skin. So why is that? Right? And why is... Where y'all go? Right, y'all sister that Israelites, you got to repent, keep God's commandments. Right, take a fly. Take a fly. Right? Probably ought to go do vanity. Right? And I don't know how old those sisters are, but... You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of brothers wouldn't like their daughters coming out wearing it. All right. right? Dressing uh, short shorts. They look like they're teenagers. Look like they might be 16, 17 years old. And already out here, they don't got they don't got their big brother with them. They don't got their father with them. <laughs> they don't got uncle with them, right? They don't got nobody with them. And they're just walking around. Right? Your brothers can look it up. See how many uh see how many kid uh how many women got kidnapped? in Chicago this year or in the past few years if you can right so hey our people are getting taken man give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse number 32 Deuteronomy 28 32 we're gonna pull the classic right Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse number 32 bring it out and it reads thus Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Right. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. Right. Uh, give me verse 50. God, verse 50. It reads, A nation of fierce countenance. A what? A nation of fierce countenance. Read. Which shall not regard the person. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Brother. Brother with the headphones. Right? You might have to speak up when they got the headphones on. You got to kind of, you got to kind of scream at them. We're gonna let this ambulance pass by real quick. Right. Hey, sister. One minute to your one verse out the Bible. Brother, why are you shaking your head for Jesus Christ? Right? Give me the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 8. I think that's what I want. Right? Now, keep reading on that. Verse 50. Hey, brother, come listen to one Bible verse. We're good on the words of the Lord. How are you good on the words of the Lord when God woke you up today? 
Right? Like right before. What are we about to read? What'd you learn? Right? What'd you learn, brother? You obviously didn't learn nothing. Because you're walking up and down the block, not keeping the commandments. Right. Right, with an Edomite, with right. the heathen, with your enemy, which you have to separate from immediately. Right. Now bring this out. Verse 50. It's Deuteronomy 28, verse 50. Bring it out. A nation of fierce countenance, uh, right. which shall not regard the person of the old, nor shoot favor to the young. Nor what? Nor, nor shoot favor, favor to, to the, the young. young. So they're not going to shoot favor to those sisters. If Esau catches those sisters in a dark alley, it might be over with. They're not keeping the commandments, right? They don't know what's going on. They forsook the words of the Lord, right? How y'all doing? Y'all got a minute to hear one verse of the Bible? Why'd you make the face, brother? You don't want to hear the words of the Lord? Wow. Brother, you got to repent and keep God's commandments, right. right? And stop walking around doing vanity on a Friday night. Right. Right? We don't. Come. So they're not going to shoot favor to our daughters, man. If they catch our daughters out here lacking, you got some? Yeah. Uh, you can bring that out. It wouldn't show the women, but it say missing people. You know, majority. Missing people. Yeah, yeah. for it, it, it's predominantly little boys and, and women of all ages, right? Let's read on. Right. This is the website. It says world pollution, world population. So like a review, missing persons by state 2024. It says according to the national missing in unidentified persons right name u.s database which is funded by the u.s department of justice more than six hundred thousand people more than what six hundred thousand people six hundred thousand people right. that we know of six hundred thousand right, right. israelites that we know of right. right how many that we don't know of with all them underground tunnels right, right? with all them underground bunkers how many of our children are they taking and damn freaking off with in the middle of the night? We don't. <laughs> Man. More than 600,000 people. Hey, brother on the bike. Brother on the bike with the right. headphones. Right, we gotta speak up when they got headphones. Right, keep reading. More than 600,000 people go missing and, and, uh, so I can, annually, right? Annually meaning every year. <laughs> this is every year and within a year in 12 months i mean 12 months was like yesterday for us i know brothers can remember last year like it was yesterday right. <laughs> trust me before you <laughs> hey we was in new york yesterday yeah. right. we were in baltimore yesterday yeah. right all of these things they happen in the blink of an eye we don't it says four four thousand four hundred unidentified bodies are recovered each year Unidentified, I'm gonna read that again. It says 400, 4,400 unidentified bodies are recovered each year. 4,400 that we know of. Right. These are all just things that, that they're willing to tell us, that they're willing to let us know, right? Everything else you can only imagine the wickedness of these people and what they're doing. Right, and we know that they're up to no good. We know exactly what they're up to, they're up to no good. Read that curse again, man. Remember, this is a nation of fierce countenance. They're not going to spare the old nor shoe favor to the young. Keep reading. This is Deuteronomy 28 and verse number 50. A nation of fierce countenance which shall not regard the person of the old nor shoe favor to the young. He shall and he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. What's up, brother? You believe in the Bible? Going on, okay. Yeah. I know, I know we kind of loud out here, right? Yeah. We got the Bibles out, we got the microphone, yeah, right? You know what we're doing out here? And we're preaching the gospel, uh, right? Now, who was the gospel given to? Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 52 and verse seven, right? Give me the book of Luke chapter four and verse number 14, right? Yeah, you can stand in front, brother, don't worry. All right, bring this out in Luke first. Four and 14. It's the book of Luke chapter four and verse 14. Bring it out. And yeah, and Jesus returned in the power of the spirit into Galilee and there went out a fame of him. Right, you believe in Jesus Christ? Right, so Jesus, he returned, read on. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. Right, Jesus isn't just famous today. He had fame going round about about his name even at the time that he was alive, read on. Right. 
and he taught in their synagogues, right. being glorified it of all, and he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. Right. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. On the what? On, on the, the Sabbath, Sabbath day. day. On the Sabbath day. That was a custom of the Jews who were Israelites. You know about the Israelites? Right? The Israelites are God's chosen people. Now, Jesus Christ, that's a nationality of people on the earth, right? So you've probably heard of that before, right? The Israelites. Have you ever heard that the uh, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans that were Israelites? You ever heard that before? Right? Well, that's what we're here to prove today, right? But nonetheless, Jesus, he was an Israelite by blood, by nationality. That's not a religion. All right. He was born an Israelite, a All Jew. Right. Now, read on. And this was a custom. The Jews, they kept something called the Sabbath day. Right. Now, in every religion, this is one of the easiest commandments to keep, yet they all get it wrong. They keep the Sabbath day on the wrong day. The Sabbath day is on Saturday, every Saturday. From Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, the Jews are God's chosen people. The Israelites, they would rest on this day. Right. This was a day of rest. Read on. Right. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. For to what? For, for to read. The same thing that we're doing right now. This is our custom. To come out here in a cheap place of concourse, preach the gospel, and read the words of the Lord to you, brother. Right? Read on. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet right? Isaiah. Right, so he opened the book of Isaiah. Have you ever heard of the book of Isaiah? Right? Now you got that in Isaiah, right? He opened the book of Isaiah. Read on. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Where it was what? Where, where it, it was, was written. written. Where it was written. Read on. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel. To what? To, to preach, preach the, the gospel. gospel. And the Lord anointed certain men to come out and preach the gospel. Let the, so, let the Israelites know who they are and what they have to do to get the kingdom of heaven, right? Read on. To preach the gospel to the poor. To the what? To, to the, the poor. poor. Right. Who are the poor on the earth? No matter where they go, they get conquered. They get put as slaves. They're subject to payments, taxes, and being in the ghettos, being in the hoods, being at the bottom of society, not having enough to make it by, right? And our people have an evil eye towards each other. What about you, brother? You got a minute to hear the words of the Lord, right? And our people would never do that at one point in time. They would stop and they would spend all day till their eyes get red and they can barely stay up to hear these words, right? Because right? this is our life. This is what helps us come back above all these other nations. This is what helps our people thrive as a nation, right? Now, read that in Isaiah. We're out here to preach the gospel. This is the gospel, man. All right, read this up. Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 1. Bring it out. Uh, give, me, uh, give me Isaiah uh, 52. This book Isaiah chapter 52 and verse number 7. Oh. And it reads, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings. That what? That, that bringeth, bringeth good, good tidings. tidings. That bringeth good tidings. The good tidings, the good news, the gospel. You know? That publisheth peace right. and bringeth good tidings of good. That publishes salvation. That's it's like it does saith the unto Zion. Thy God reigneth, thy watchmen shall lift up the voice. With the voice together shall they sing. Right. And it said, thus unto Zion. Right? So thus unto Zion, and who is Zion according to the Bible? You may not have never heard of these words before. But Zion is synonymous with Israel. The Israelites. That's like a that's like another name, right? Or a byword for the Israelites, right? So the Israelites, they're labeled as Zion. Now these are the Israelites today. Right? You have the so-called black man, the so-called Hispanic man, and the so-called Native American and Seminole Indian man. Right? We are the people who got cursed for disobeying God's commandments. Right. Have you ever heard of that? Right? Now go to Deuteronomy 28 and verse number 15. And give me the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse number 1. Right? We're going to show you something that you probably never heard before. Now, what's your nationality again? Black. Black, right? Now... They call you black, which obviously is the same color as your sweater, right? That's not a nation, right? So what is the nation that you come from? Uh, 
You're not sure, brother? So what? You were born in America, right? And now, and, and you don't know where you come from, right? Now, other nations, they have a heritage. They have a nationality. Right. Now, the so-called white man, he gave, he lets, he made sure that everybody knew who they was, except for you, and he, especially, he doesn't want you to know who he is. That's why out of all the nations, who else labels themselves as a color? Right. The white man. He's the only other person who labels himself as a color because he doesn't want you to find out all the atrocities that his forefathers did to your forefathers. That's right. And now how that, he is really your enemy. When you see the so-called white race walk past you, those aren't your friends, brother. Right. Those are your enemies according to the Bible. Right. Right. Have you ever heard that? Did you know that you have enemies? You said they're devils? Right. Now give me the book of uh, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 9. Right? Revelation chapter 12 and verse 9. You give me Revelation chapter 12 and verse 2. Right? Revelation chapter 12 and verse number 9. Bring it out. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent. That what? That old serpent. Right? The great dragon. That old serpent. Right? The so-called white man, he has a lot of titles that goes by in the Bible that in characteristics that he fits on the wicked side, on the left-hand side. It says that old dragon, read on. Called the devil. Called the what? Called, called the, the devil. devil. That old dragon, that old serpent called the devil, right? There's a man on the earth and he's more, he's more subtle than any beast of the field. Right. He's like a serpent. Right. Right? You ever heard of the serpent in Genesis 3? The one that beguiled Eve, right? Now, that was a real man on the earth. That was a man, he was more evil and more subtle than any other people that was on the earth. What people do you see today, they're more evil than any, they've caused more evil than any other nation on the earth. They rape, they rob, they murder, and they conquer wherever they go. They steal, right? When they get power, what do they do? They build a damn island so they can all go freak off and fornicate on it. Madness. And they call it Epstein's Island. They name Madness. it after themselves, right? They build underground tunnels right. so they can freak off with your uh, with your children. See that? Right? These are the things that these people do. Right. Right? So you got Deuteronomy 28? Bring that up. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right? So we don't listen on uh, unto the voice of the Lord our God. We don't. The Israelites, this is what Moses is telling the Israelites. Our forefathers, he didn't call us blacks and Hispanics. Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so to, so to sum that up, he said that if these people, the Israelites, if they don't keep God's commandments, they will be cursed. They're gonna go through curses. All right. Is a curse a good or a bad thing? Very bad, right? Because God actually has blessings. He has blessings if we keep the commandments, but he has what if we don't keep the commandments? Curses, right? These curses, read verse 46. Verse 46, and they shall be upon thee for a sign, Wait, what? for Wait, a sign, sign. Wait, what? for Wait, a sign, sign, and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Meaning forever, for generations to come these curses are going to be on these israelites these curses are going to be on these israelites for generations to come for not doing what for not keeping god's commandments All right now how do we identify who god's chosen people are by reading the curses and seeing what nation does it fit does it fit the so-called black woman does it fit the so-called black man does it fit the so-called uh, Hispanic and Native American man, woman, and child? Right? Read verse 16. Verse 16. No. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. That's the first curse. Let's deal with it. Right? As we look at all the nations on the earth, who is cursed in the cities? Every city that you go to. You have something in a city called a ghetto where they put a specific groups of people there that are supposed to be oppressed, impoverished, poor, at a low estate. 
beggars, right? Who are these people that are in the ghettos? Do you see these people? The so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans? That's what we're trying to show you, brother, right? That these are the people who are going through these curses. This is the first curse. There will be curse in every city. It right. doesn't matter, go to Detroit. You're gonna see a brother who looks just like you and just like me walking down the block, right? right? With some holes in our, in our shirts, right? Some busted up shoes, right? Maybe begging for change, maybe looking for some weed on the block, maybe looking for something to drink, maybe looking for women to freak off with. But one thing for sure that we're not doing is keeping God's commandments. Right. You're not gonna go to the ghetto and see a bunch of blacks and Hispanics keeping God's commandments. You're gonna see them sinning, right. going off and doing wickedness, right. which is the reason why they're in that estate in the first place. Right. It's not because the so-called white man is stronger than you. It's not because they're better than you. Right. It's not because of anything that they have over you because in every aspect you're better than them. Right. It's because you sinned against your God. Right. Right? Now let's read this. Uh, read the second part of that verse. And curse shalt thou be in the field. In the what? In, in the, the field. field. In the field. Who was cursed in the slave field? Turn the sign around. Who was cursed in the slave field? Picking cotton. Picking strawberries. Picking sugar cane. And getting their backs beat in for 20 hours a day. It was you, brother. Right? If you were alive a hundred years ago, they probably would have bound you up. They'd probably be lynching you right now. They'd probably be throwing rocks and tomatoes at you. They'd, be, they'd probably be calling you all types of bywords and, and, uh, and wicked things, right? Slandering the name of Israel. We're gonna let this uh, fire department go by, right? Read verse number 68, right? Let's wake the brother up. Let's wake him up to his nationality. We don't. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Yo. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into what? Into, into Egypt, Egypt again. again. Into Egypt again. Right? What were the Israelites doing in Egypt? They were in slavery. Did you know about that? That your forefathers were slaves in Egypt? Right? A lot of black people, they want to keep Egyptian, Egyptian customs. They want to be Egyptian. They want to be the same people who enslaved them at one point. Right. Right? They want to be the same people who enslaved them at one point. And you see the same thing happening today. That's why the Lord said, don't do the ways of the Egyptians in, in Leviticus 18 and 3. Right. Now we have to come out here and tell you, don't do the ways of the so-called white men. Don't do the things that they taught you here in this society. Don't keep the holidays that they force you to keep that's dedicated to the slaughtering of your forefathers. Right. Don't do these things. You have to get out of this world. Give me the book of Zechariah chapter, actually give me the book of Micah chapter two and verse 10. Micah two and 10, keep reading on that. So we were slaves in Egypt. The Lord said he's gonna send us back into another slavery by what? With ships. With what? With, With ships. ships. Who went into slavery on slave ships in history? Right, the so-called black man, 1619. You have the transatlantic slave trade. You have the so-called Hispanic man, Native American and Seminole Indian, 1492. You had the conquistador conquest with the Spaniards. So you had the French, you had, uh, what was it? The British, and you had the Spanish, right? They all were over here conquering our people, right? Read on. By the way, we're all I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You're not gonna see your homeland again. Right. He's gonna send you into slavery on slave ships, right. and you're not gonna see the land of Israel. Right. You're not gonna see Jerusalem. At all. You're not gonna see Samaria. You're not gonna see these places where we used to dwell, right? Where the Most High was with us. You're not gonna see your homeland again. You're gonna be in the land of your captivity. You're gonna say to the servants of the Lord, I was born here in America, right. in the land of my captivity, you know? And there ye shall be sold, ye shall be what? Ye, ye shall, shall be, be sold, sold unto your enemies, unto, unto your, your enemies, enemies. Unto your enemies you know? for bond men and bond women 
and no man shall buy you. And what? And no, no man, man shall, shall buy, buy you. And no man shall buy you, meaning they're not gonna no one's gonna be able to save you out of this captivity. Right. Going to slavery on slave ships for not keeping God's commandments, not gonna see your homeland again for not keeping God's commandments, gonna be sold unto your enemies for not keeping God's commandments. Right. No man's gonna buy you for not keeping God's commandments. Right. Give me the book of Michael, chapter 2, verse 10. Book of Michael, chapter 2, verse number 10. Look it out. Out. Arise ye and depart. And what? And, and depart. Arise ye and depart. We're out here to tell you, you need to get out of America. Out. You need to get your mind out of the philosophies, the deceit, and all the ways that they taught us. We don't. For this is not your rest. For what? For, For this, this is, is not, not your rest. rest. Read it again. For, For this, this is not your rest. rest. This is not your rest, buddy. Living here in America, chasing the American dream, is not your rest. Read on. Because it is polluted. Because what? Because, because it, it is polluted. It is polluted, read. It shall destroy you, even with its sword destruction. And if you stay here in America, if you chase the American dream, it's going to kill you and destroy you with a sword destruction. And stay up here because the next mighty brother, he's going to show you how to get everlasting life. He's going to show you more about your heritage that was literally stripped and taken from you in slavery. And with that, we're going to give all honor and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. Kumi Yashallah.